Welcome to another video in the how-to series by Trend Micro. My name is Michael Clifford. I'm a support engineer here at Trend Micro. Up to this point, we've discussed methods of agent migration. We set our agents up in a, a good spot to be migrated, and uh, we're going to go through each one of the methods. So the method of the day is the web console move feature. It's one of the easiest ways to go about it. Uh, so the methods of agent migration video as discussed previously has all of the pros and cons of the different ways to move agents around. So we're just going to go from the top down. Uh, maybe you've picked this one as your, your move feature. Once you log into your existing office scan console, it's a simple matter of selecting the agent or agents you want to move. So I'm only going to do one because I have a limited amount of agents and a bunch of methods to go through. So we're going to pick a client 05. Looks like a, a, a good agent to move over. It's a simple matter of just right clicking the agent or agents, going to manage agent tree, and then move agent. So down here you'll select move selected agents to another office scan server, in our case it's Apex1. And you just put your fully qualified domain name or your Apex1. What If you're using IP address, you can do it by IP address and it'll grab whatever setting it has on the Apex1. So I'm just going to do fully qualified because I like being very specific. This is where you set the SSL port that you had set up on the Apex One when you originally installed the server. So in our case, we did 4343, and our HTTP port was 8080. Select Move. It'll say you're about to move the agent, and you click OK. And it's been notified. So once the notification is sent out to the agent, it'll begin moving once it gets that, that notification to check in and do it, and it'll move automatically. So once it moves, it'll pop off of the console and it'll show up on our Apex One console. So we've waited a minute. Uh, the agent's got its notification. You'll notice it go offline because it's no longer gonna be talking to this server as the notification is processed. A good note is that if you move a very large number of agents on the move screen that we saw earlier, it might sit there, especially in Chrome, and say the website is unresponsive. However, that just means that it's processing through sending all of the notifications. If you just wait, especially if you do a, a very, very large number of moves, and this is all dependent upon uh, resources available on the server, then it'll process all of them. I've seen up to 7,000 moved at one time, and it took a little while for that screen to go away, but uh, they did eventually move almost all of them. So maybe another 45 seconds has gone by, maybe, maybe a minute. Not a good timekeeper, um, but the agent has moved. It's left the console here, and it will be appearing in the Apex One console very shortly. And there it is. It's probably like 15 seconds after I just got done saying that. Pause the video so you wouldn't have to wait around, but uh, <laughs> it's already there. So as you can see, it's here. It's online. It's reporting. Um, it's got its new setting already for file reputation, which is our integrated smart protection source. And it's got the listening port, which was migrated in earlier. So that's it for that migration method. And uh, once we're ready to update the agent to Apex One, we'll modify the policy. So until next time, bye.